Hi and welcome to Girl Talk. What a great morning today. We are here in Buford at the yeah. Brow Company. Takia Smith has joined us and Terry Bergeron is here. Oh, nice Long to meet you. Yes. 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 yes, thank you. Debbie Court is here. The Hi, Debbie everyone. Square are Debbie, Debbie. here. Thank Debbie, Debbie and Debbie are here. But this is a treat for us to be here today. We want to jump right into it because we've got a lot to cover today. But Takia, you have a very interesting story and we came here She's to talk about. Published. Yes, we came Two in to books. talk about extensions and weaving, but we're going to digress <laughs> or we're going to move forward. You are well, a published cool author. way to start the story. Yes, absolutely. Talk Thank you. Us. Thank you. Well, I do have a little bit of a story. As we were talking yeah. prior to getting set up, you asked, "How did I get into this?" And I kind of sighed and said, "Well, you know, do you have a minute?" And what it is is, um, my children and I were homeless six years ago. And as a way to get ourselves together, I really looked into finding an opportunity, looking for something niche that I can do, not only to create an income for myself and my children, but to bring something new to Beaufort County. And I trained and certified and learned semi-permanent lash extensions and eyebrow threading. And I really didn't even intend to launch a business. I just wanted to find a means of income for my children and I. And literally what happened is, one friend told another friend, and another friend told another, and, and here we are. are. How did you publish? Talk to me a little bit about your background and your history. I self-published. I did not uh, intend to write a book either. It seems like things just kind of fall in place. And uh, what happened was I started journaling. Um, as I was going through things, it was a release, a way to just put my thoughts on paper. Did you grow up here? I did not. Okay. I am originally from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. I'm a military brat. Okay. My dad was in the Marine Corps, and that's how I ended up here. Uh, moved here in 1996, so I'm a native now. Love the low country. Um, and I just started journaling. And as I started writing, maybe halfway through, I realized, oh my gosh, this is a book. And for years, my best friend would tell me, Takiya, you should write a book. You have a story, you should write a book. And I always thought, nobody wants to hear about my lifetime movie sort of life. And, <laughs> and halfway through writing, I was like, oh my gosh, I should write a book. And so um, I... In starting this business, uh, one client in specific, Gail Westerfield, a great friend of mine, yes, I Gail. shared <laughs> my story with her. And at the time, she was writing for a local paper and said, you know, let's get this in the paper. And I said, well, you know, I'm writing a journal as well. And she said, oh my gosh, let's make this a book. And two years later, we, we published are. my first book. I love it. She, That's awesome. Social etiquette. And let's talk about some of the services yeah. that you have yes, here. Yes, absolutely. You have some great stuff. And like you said, kind of unique to our to our area. Yes, in the low absolutely. Like I said, um, I initially started out with semi-permanent lash extensions, uh, which is individually applied fibers that are placed individually one at a time on each and every single lash. And then we offer eyebrow threading. That's why we're called the Brow Company. We do everything that's going to touch what on the brow. What is that? Help yes. us understand. Yes. Eyebrow threading, first of all, does not involve a needle, ladies. Okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's I know you we get calls all the time and they think it's adding hair and it involves a needle, which <laughs> actually is a method of hair removal. It is okay. the best method. It's organic in nature because it uses a basic piece of cotton beauty thread. The way that the thread is manipulated with the hands, it coils around the hair and pulls it directly, gently out of the follicle. We've got some footage yeah. here. That Absolutely. We're showing, Honestly, I have no life because when we when we heard about it, I researched it. I'm like, well, what does that I think mean? We all were googling. No, yeah. But I have to tell you, what they said is. It is, it is a difficult process to learn, and the people who do it know what they're doing. You, it's an art. Really kind of Absolutely. Art. It's an art, and it actually originated centuries ago. It's uh, popular in Middle Eastern Asia, India, okay. and China. And it's an ancient, age-old method, and it's become very popular here in Western civilization over the last 10 years, and now becoming very popular in salons and spas here. In the How is it in terms of... Mm, Discomfort, maybe in, in <laughs> that's a good 
remember comparison in comparison to waxing, waxing. or other me methods. In comparison, I tell every client it depends on your level of sensitivity. Um, oh, if you've done tweezing, <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever done tweezing or plucking, yeah. it's going to feel like that sensation. The ideal with threading, though, is that the thread coils, it runs across the skin, so one at a time, it's lifting hairs. So you're just feeling that repeatedly, one behind the other. Instead but of that rip. Exactly. <laughs> and it's not <laughs> traumatic to the skin. It's dermatologists right. recommend it, oh, actually, really? because, yes, especially for Gently. clients that do chemical peels or use Retin-A or Accutane, they can do that because they cannot wax. So this is oh, very safe and gentle for the skin. Do people need to call you for an appointment? Is it drop-in? Talk to I know they're on Facebook. Yeah. Yes, yes, we are on, on Facebook. Facebook, so like us on Facebook. Um, you can come in. We right now, our summer hours are Thursday, Friday, th and Saturday. Uh, Thursday and Friday, we're 10 to 6, and then Saturday, we're 10 to 2 by walk-in. You can walk in for brow appointments, and then in our fall, we'll back up to Tuesday through Saturday. That sounds great. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on Girl Talk. Girl Talk is brought to you by Employee Owned The Greenery, Custom Audio Video, and Island Tire and Automotive Services. Please support these local businesses as they make this program possible.